everyone, it's Anne from Craft Fantastic, and we're going to be doing this very cute um, card kit. It's called the Forget Me Not card kit. And actually, it's very, it seems very Valentine-y, but you could use this any time of year. And I like our card kits because uh, I'm not a fan of um, writing on the inside, like pre-printed cards, because I think it's nice when you actually... Um, um, you know, have your own sentiment. So we're doing five cards, um, and with these really darling, uh, the text and then the birds and the forget-me-nots. And this is card number one. Um, this is card number two with this little medallion and the ribbon and then um, the layering. And th these are our signature gems and those are nice. You don't have to use them, but they're nice because um, it allows you to sort of, you know, signify that you made this by hand and you can add those at the end. Um, number three is this card with this really cute little heart charm. Uh, I think we call this the creative heart. Uh, you can buy those uh, individually also. And then there's one of my favorites with this fabulous, I love this ribbon with the um, the green leaves, and but a medallion. And again, our little signature uh, charm. And then last but not least is a very simple card with um, the uh, tray. This is our, our uh, twist line um, tray and um, it's put together with this very simple composition. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here are the tools and materials you need. The kit comes with almost everything in it that you do need, but you do need the fantastic glaze and glue. You need some kind of uh, paper adhesive, and I really love this. This is uh, the Easy Runner by Scrapbook Adhesives. We actually sell these on our website, and what I like about these is it really fits into your hand, and I also like the adhesive itself. It comes out in little pieces, so it really goes around a corner nicely. I know there are the big ones, but I think this really uh, works great. This is a very dirty bone folder. Um, Q-tips. You need a pair of scissors, a craft knife, um, some scrap paper, and you may want to use a ruler. I don't, but you might want to measure things. Sometimes people feel more comfortable with that. All right, let's get started. All right. So um, your kit comes with uh, eight image sheets. The first sheet is tells you what uh, the different cards are. And they're labeled with one, two, three, four, and five. So this gives you an idea about the different cards. And then you'll see that you've got lots of really cool images. And the first thing that I want you to do is we are going to go ahead and set aside the, the sheet that has the different um, cards on it. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rough cut all the images out and notice that each image has a number next to it or beside it. You also have situations where um, it says number four, choose one. Um, we're gonna rough cut these out and what I want you to do is make sure that you keep the number on the, um, on each uh, uh, image. So, so I'm just going around, and again, this is just a rough cut and cutting this all out. Okay, so now we've got everything cut out, and now what I'm gonna do is, this is a two, I'm gonna start to make little piles of each uh, sheet. And this is a one, and that's a one. This is a two. Here's a one. It's kind of like dealing cards or something. So go ahead and pile up all your images. Okay, so you've got these guys. Um, so I've got my little piles for all the cards. And you have these guys and these are going to, you're gonna use these with the tiny uh, round glass to create your signature gems at the very end. So you can set this aside. We're not gonna work with those right now. So now we're ready to make card number one. 
Okay, this is card number one, and this is one of my favorites in this little grouping of cards uh, that we're gonna do right now. Um, and you've got your layers, you've got your glass pieces, and they're sort of attached to um, everything uh, with the, the uh, twine. And then here's your little signature gem. Um, when you're doing layer, layer cards, you have to anticipate, like, what do I put on first? So on this one, I'm putting this one on first, then I'm gonna put my hearts on, and then I'm gonna put my sparrow, and then my little robins who are enjoying a basket of forget-me-nots. But the first thing that I need to do is cut these guys out. And when you cut, what I want you to do is just cut the white off. So you're going along the edge, and you wanna cut everything out right up along that edge. And it's a lot easier if you have things cut apart like this to do this. It's kind of like kindergarten. You know, I remember when I learned how to cut out paper. I love doing this, really enjoyed. So here's your first piece. So go ahead and you're gonna cut out the other two. You are not gonna cut out this one where it says choose two because we're gonna make our little glass pieces with that. Okay, so now you have your three larger pieces cut out and you're gonna uh, use this, set this aside for the glass pieces. So I'm just gonna put this aside and you're gonna take a um, some of this card stock. And this, is, this gets easy because we're only using the, the really nice sort of, um, oh, it's almost velvety, this craft color. And I'm going to glue these down onto the cardstock. And when you do this, try to save paper, but you need enough so you can trim around the edge. You could go all the way up to the edge like this, but then you're gonna have a very straight edge and then a hand cut edge. And you may like that, but I prefer having a hand cut edge. And that's one of the things that I like about our cards is that everything looks like it's handmade. It's not die cut, it's not something you know, you don't have to have a special tool. And you wanna run this tape right up along the edge. And I'm gonna intentionally, well, I didn't go over the edge, but well, maybe I did a little bit. Um, if you do get some of the tape, uh, the paper adhesive over the edge, rather than trying to cut it off, just go ahead and fold it back. Because if you try to cut it off, it just makes a mess with your scissors. So it doesn't fit here. So I'm gonna put it right here and I'm just going to trim. Now, this is a choice you can make. You can do a thick edge, you can do a thin edge. I like a little less than an eighth of an inch. And again, I'm not measuring, but I'm just doing this with my eyesight. Some people go really close, um, but I like a little bit of an edge on here. Some people go really wide or they mix it up. There is some, you know, variations and choices with our card kits, which is nice. So the cards are not the same each time. Okay, so I've got this piece cut out and now I'm gonna do that for the other two pieces. Okay, so now I have these cut out and you're gonna do that for all the other cards. You're going to um, sort of figure out what are the glass pieces and set that aside. And then you're going to put cardstock on the back of all the cards. So now I'm gonna choose my um, little hearts. And I think I'm gonna go with these because I already have my beautiful card that I've made with these. Or you could even mix them up. You could use one of these and these. It doesn't matter, it can be whatever you want. Oh, it'd be super cute. You could do photos, right? You could do a... Um, Photo, like if somebody has a couple of kids, you could do each child or, you know, whoever you wanted. So you could do your own images in here as well. But I'm gonna do uh, these two here. And these are, um, this is artwork that comes from an old, uh, like a Sears and Roebuck catalog. Uh, these were lockets from before um, well, probably from the late 1800s, I would say. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna grab a piece of scrap paper. Um, you wanna work on a hard surface. That is very important. 
Um, and then these, we're just gonna make our little glass cabs. And you're using the Fantastic Glaze and Glue. And I'm just gonna squirt a blob in sort of all, th I'm put putting three blobs on here. And I wanna make sure that I have enough so that it oozes out the sides, but that it doesn't like swim in the stuff. Um, you wanna move it around, it's a pretty tight fit. And get in there and sort of see how that looks. And I'll do the same thing for the other one. And it just, you know, I have to say, I've been doing this now for a while, since two, I think we started Craft Fantastic in 2009 and, or actually 2008. Um, and I still have not grown tired of making these glass cabs. I just love what it does to the image. It really makes it pop. So I'm gonna squirt a blob. If you're doing a, a round piece, you just squirt a blob in the center. If you're doing a square piece, it's in all four corners. And you just wanna make sure you've got enough on here so it oozes out the sides. And then once it stops moving around, you're gonna take a Q-tip and you're just gonna clean up around the edge. And you could use a paintbrush if you wanted to or something else, but you've gotta get in there and really clean up. Now, if you get a little bit of the glaze and glue on the front, just use a uh, uh, craft night knife to scrape it off once it's dry. Um, but I'll tell you, you'll get pretty good at this if you make many of these. And now what we're doing, because it's in the heart, it's a little bit different. This is the one time that you're gonna use a craft night knife. And we were I was talking with my associate here and we were like, is that the cleft of the heart? But we still haven't looked that up, but kind of curious. So what you have, you can't really get your scissors in the top here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, with my little craft knife, I'm just gonna cut that out. And that should come out pretty easily. This may not be a very sharp craft knife, but I'm getting in there and getting that out. And see, there you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. So now we have all of our pieces ready to go. We've got our three uh, pieces that are uh, adhered to the cardstock. We've got our two glass, and in the jewelry industry, they're called cabochons or glass pieces, you can call them. And um, we're gonna need one of our short pieces of twine here. And we're gonna get our, start putting our, our first card together. So the first thing you need to do is you need to um, get the fold of the card um, in here and you're gonna fold it over. And what I want you to do is really hold the two corners together and you're going to burnish with your bone folder. And you're not using this part of it, you're using the pointed part sort of midway because if you go this way, you're gonna pull this across your paper and you might emboss it or damage it in some way. So I'm getting in here and I'm really burnishing this card. These cards are nice because they're five by sevens that are cut just a little bit smaller so you can load it up with stuff and still get it into the envelope. Okay, so this is our, our blank, blank canvas, if you will. And so I'm looking at what I'm, how I'm going to put this together. And the first thing I wanna do is I want to attach my uh, base. I guess this would be my base. Here's the one, make sure this is right side up. And I'm kind of looking and visually you're doing a collage and to make it look Pleasant. I mean, you can do this however you want, but I like to sort of make sure that things, the white space is sort of even, that it sort of frames it. So I'm looking here, so I'm gonna pay attention to here, here, and here. And I want that to be roughly the same uh, distance, and it's a little bit bigger here. So the right here, and it's tipped just slightly at an angle. And I always do a dry run, I always try it out first. And now I'm gonna put my paper adhesive on here. 
And remember, if it goes over the edge, don't try to trim it off, just fold it over. And sometimes if it's a large piece, I'll hit the center. And so the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking at, here we go, just like that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the next piece of this is we're going to put our little hearts on. And I've got my piece of ribbon. And the first thing I wanna do is just cut it in half. I'm just gonna make two pieces out of this because we give you the right amount of stuff to do this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and fold one of these pieces in half. And I'm creating this little piece, it's a little interest. You wouldn't have to do this, but it actually makes it easier to put the card together and you'll see when you're doing this. But I'm just going to do a knot here. You could do a couple of knots, you could, and you could really do it wherever you want. And I am going to do it about three quarters of an inch up from the loop. So roughly about here, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this one because I want them to match. Again, you don't have to have them match. You can do it however you choose. But if you're not gonna match, make sure you really don't match. You don't want it to almost match because then it looks like it might, might have been a mistake. I'm having a little trouble with that one, come on. And that's about, they're about the same. Okay, so these guys are ready to go. And the next thing we're gonna work with are amazing. These are our super sticky dots. And these are the best things in the world and they're great for card makers because you want your card to get to the recipient all together. And this will make this happen. I've gotten handmade cards from really great friends and, and it comes and it's not in one piece. And so what I use these for is to, to glue down ribbon and glass pieces and anything that needs a higher tack. The, the runner, the paper runner, the paper adhesive is great for the flat stuff, but you'll see how we use these throughout these cards. But, um, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put a super sticky dot right on this one. And then I'm gonna be attaching these to, um, uh, to the card. And so you wanna sort of center this, you can see sort of a half circle. So if you were to center that, you're, you're gonna go off the edge slightly. And this is nice design, because you wouldn't want it to match exactly on the edge. You want it to be a little bit off. Okay. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these little, um, these little strings that we've made. And I'm going to turn my card this way. And I've watched people who make things and I'm, I'm intrigued by people who like to make things. And what I've noticed is that they, uh, people who like to make things and they make things that are really nice um, tend to uh, move the piece around rather than moving around the piece. And I'm just pulling that tight and kind of centering it on my dot here, just like that. And now I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm rotating my card a little bit. And I'm just going to put that on the dot. And then I've attached it here. So just like that. There we go. I'm gonna take my bone folder, oops, and just burnish slightly. And really get that, that little string on there. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim. You always trim after you attach, not before. Trimming that off. Right? And the twine is a little um, fuzzy. So I'm just gonna take 
and I'm just sort of cutting some of this fuzz off that's sort of developed here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my little hearts down and I do that with two more of these amazing super sticky dots. And it fits just perfectly on the back here. And that's intentional. These dots are actually designed to work with all of our sizes of glass except for the tiny. And if you're working with tiny size glass, and I'll show you how to do this at the end, um, you're gonna cut, just cut the, the, um, the super sticky dots down. And again, I'm peeling it off, that's the hard part. And now I want this little cleft or whatever it's called to sort of match up with the string. And I'm pushing that down really hard. And this cures over time, so it actually becomes, the tack increases um, over time. So, oops, I've already got one on here. <laughs> okay. Again, the hard part. And I'm just gonna put that, oh, that's so cute. That work. Yeah, I want to make sure. There we go. And it's nice because they're coming off the edge, and you want that for uh, the design aspect. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, layer these guys. Now it's hard to see in the video, but actually the top is elevated and the bottom is flat, so they can kind of they're at an angle. And the way we do that is we are going to use our puffy dots, our three-dimensional dots. And these, again, are from our friends at Scrapbook Adhesive. They're great. We sell them on our website. We have a great price on them, actually. If you buy them in bulk, you really save if you use a lot of them. Okay, so I'm going to do three across the top, right? And on the super sticky dots... And you could probably use the paper adhesive, but I wanna make sure that this really holds. And actually, I'm just gonna put two on here. There we go. And Puffy dots are easier to peel that, that protective layer off. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna cover up this area and I'm paying attention to what's going on here, here, and here. And what I want is a slight angle. And I want this, I don't want this too close to the edge, right? So it's about a half an inch, a little bit more. So it's a half an inch plus. And I'm just going to Put that on there just like that there we go and this is together this is not gonna go anywhere and then on this one I just need two of these puffy dots and the key to the puffy dots is you want them as close to the edge as possible but you don't want people to see them and then I'm just going to do two of these guys on here just like that and then the hard part, peeling this stuff off. Okay, so now on this one, I want this at an angle this way, right? Because if it's this way, it might be a little too matchy-matchy. And I think I'm concerned with this here, and I want this to sort of match up here, right? Because remember I talked about the white space being sort of framed, framing the, the collage. And so I'm paying attention to where I'm going here, right? And I'm just gonna put that, just like that. Okay. Look at how cute this is. And you've got interest here, right here. Things don't match up. You want, you want it to be sort of to create uh, some a little bit of paper drama, I guess you could call it. And then um, at the end, if you want to, you can go ahead and, and put on a signature dot or a signature gem. Okay, so that's card number one.
Okay, this is card number two, and I love this card because I love the punchiness of the red with the green, and I think this is just a beautiful card. So you've got your medallion, you've got this little ribbon sort of done in a way that you know, accents the medallion and then the layers. And you're gonna start with, the first piece you're gonna put down is this one. The second one is this one and it's pivoted. So it's high on the top side and lower on the bottom. And then you're gonna do your ribbon and then you're gonna do your little medallion. So I've got my pieces all ready to go here. And the first thing I wanna do is use my super sticky dot. Oh, and you're using the long green ribbon. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is, if I can grab it, um, I'm gonna use my super sticky dot and I am going to put it right on the center of the two. I'm burnishing it down with my nail and I'm gonna peel that off, and I'm gonna assemble this little medallion because you don't wanna attach the glass piece to the paper when it's on the card because you might have to push too much. And I want it so this, the writing is straight across. You may wanna do it upside down or do something different with that. And I chose the bird on this one because I already had the heart. So this is ready to go. And I really like it with the bird because it really brings more blue in and um, again, it's it pops. So, um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to um, glue down our base piece. And I'm paying attention, this and this are gonna match, right? This is gonna be a little bit more than this. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna weight it slightly. And what that means is that your, your uh, collage or your work has a little more space on the bottom than on the top because it's an optical illusion. And if you had even space, it would look actually like it was low on the card. But again, you can place this however you want. You could do it straight. You could do, you know, you could do uh, anything you choose with this. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I want about a half of an inch here, right? Half an inch plus. This is about a three quarters of an inch plus. And again, I don't measure. But some people, you know, they sit there and they measure. You could use a pencil and make little marks. Um, I choose not to do that and just use my eye. And I think you actually end up, it's easier, number one. And I'm going to add just a little bit to the center. Um, it's easier and it also, um, I think there's a, more life to it somehow. All right. So I'm putting that down. Okay, and now we're going to place this one. And so we need to put the puffy dots along the top and then the super sticky dots on the bottom. And on this, we're going to, uh, let's see here. Oh, here we go, here are my sticky dots. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do three across the top. You could almost get away with the two, but I like to sort of make my cards, the architecture of my cards, I like to be pretty solid because again, you know, it would be nice if this, you know, somebody pulled this out of a box or it was in a scrapbook or something um, two or three years from now or even 10 years from now and it was still holding together. So I go three across the top and I go two across the bottom because these are super sticky dots and you don't need to use quite as much on that. Okay, and again, I'm thinking about, I want this to match this edge here, and I want this to be slightly higher than that edge. So let's see how I can do here. I think I'm going with that right there, just like that. And it's gonna be a little different than this one, but that's okay. You don't want them to be the same. All right, so now we have the first sort of the base uh, and now we're going to work with our ribbon. And it's super simple. You're just gonna go like this, and you could put it on this way, or you could put it on that way. So I think on this one, I'm gonna put on this way because I reversed it on that one. And again, you're gonna use your super sticky dot. And remember, you never trim your ribbon until you've actually got it placed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this 
on the center here. I'm gonna burnish it down. The better it's burnished, the easier it is to peel this little dot off. So now I've got my adhesion on the sort of center of this ribbon, and I'm just gonna make my little loop. And they're different each time, just like that. Right? And then I'm gonna put this, my super sticky dot on the number two, and I'm gonna peel that up. And, eh, do I wanna do it that way? I think I do, actually. And I'm just gonna put that right there. Now we're going to put our little medallion on here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna put one in the center for sure because you need that structure because I'm gonna be pushing down on it. And then you wanna go right up against the edge here. So you're gonna, it's gonna be packed with these puffy dots. Man, when I first started out in the paper industry, I was importing Japanese paper and there was none of this. There were no puffy dots. We, if we were making cards in, in this style, we had to cut out little pieces of um, mat board. And actually those work great as puffy dots too. Um, but all this stuff came along and it makes it faster. But uh, pieces of mat board make great um, help layer cards too. So if you don't wanna use the puffy dots, use the save your mat board. Okay, so I wanna make sure that the, um, the text here is straight across. And I also wanna make sure that, and that looks pretty good, just like that. See how cute that is? And now I'm gonna trim my ribbon and I always like to trim it long because I want it to look like um, you had enough. If you trim it too short, it sort of looks like, oh, you didn't have enough ribbon for your project or something. And I always like long ribbon and it just makes it lush and, and better. I also like it loose. I don't like it when it's really uh, pinned down. So this is uh, card number two. Okay. All right, so the next card that we're gonna make is card number three. And this is a super cute little card. It doesn't really have any glass embellishments on it except for the little signature gem right here. But um, we're using one of our charms and then we're using, we're elevating this little piece. Again, it's sort of hard to see, but, but um, so we're going to um, make our card number three. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to wrap this card with the ribbon, right? Because the ribbon goes around. And so it's doubled up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply going to fold, and this is the long piece of ribbon that's in your, or the long piece of twine that's in your kit. And I just fold it in half. And what I wanna do is I'm going to, um, Start right about here, and I leave a loop, eh, probably a two inch loop, give or take. And then what I'm gonna do, and you might have to do this a couple of times. This is trickier than it seems like it would be. And I'm gonna come back around. And see, I wanna do this again, because I want a little more on here, because I've gotta be able to tie it. That's the key. So you've got, I don't know, two inches from your thumb. So I got one, two, three. Okay, that's better. And now I'm gonna tie it, and I'm gonna tie it off center. You could do it centered. If you do it centered, make sure it's really centered. And you hold on to it. Do you see how I'm holding it with my thumb? And the hardest part is getting this tight. And I'm tying a square knot. And it's tricky. It's not easy. There we go, just like that. And so now I can move it around on my card. And it's going kind of straight across the top and then it kind of crisscrosses. 
but it's pretty on there pretty good. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is we're gonna glue this onto the card, but paper adhesive will not adhere the uh, twine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this with some super sticky dots, right? Because that's really going to adhere this card and hold the ribbon in place. There we go. And I always sort of look at the front before I actually make the commitment here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And I kind of burnish in between here, getting that in there. You could also, you know, use the tip of your bone folder also because that really works. In fact, I'll do that because it kind of flattens everything out. Get in there and really, because that's going to hold if you do, if you really burnish well, that's really, it's going to hold. Okay. And this is over a little bit, so when I peel that off, I'm gonna um, fold that back. And now I'm gonna use my paper adhesive. Where I'm not using, I put a little bit between here. That may or may not catch, but. And I hit it with a little bit here in the center. And now comes the fun part, right? Peeling this little liner off. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I get my card blank and I burnish the sides. And on this one, this really demonstrates the weighting, W-E-I-G-H-T-E-D uh, on the card. So the sides are even. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit more on the bottom, just a, just a titch, maybe about an eighth of an inch more. And I'm centering everything from side to side. And then, and I'm actually gonna get in here and burnish this down a little bit, because again, that's what is gonna hold. And that will stay in place. Okay, and now I could attach this first, but I choose to do the charm first because the charm is a little more difficult. So you do the difficult stuff first because you might damage this while you're trying to get this charm on here. So what I do is I'm just tightening that up and then I'm just gonna thread it through, it's pretty easy and I'm going to tie a square knot. Now, this, this charm is not gonna be hanging in the right direction, but we're actually gonna attach it with a sticky dot, so don't worry about that. Okay, come on. So I tie that knot, and then I tie one more. So it's a square knot, over, under, twice. Okay, and I want my little heart to be and again I'm burnishing down with my nail and I'm going to peel that off and and I'm just gonna attach that to everything. Okay, you could even leave this like this. That would be kind of cute, you know, just to have sort of, um, you know, sort of an interesting little, and I'm gonna trim mine. Here we go. Okay. And now, um, and again, this gets pretty fuzzy, this stuff. And now I'm just going to attach that, and that is going to, you have to have, um, you could get away with one, 
with four, but I like to, as I said, I like my architecture to be a little, um, I'd rather do have a nut more on this than less because I, I'd really like these cards to look good over time. Okay. And then I just put this wherever I want this. Again, centered side to side. And there we go. Just like that. So that is card number three. Okay, so now we're gonna do card number four, and um, this is one of my favorites. Um, first of all, I love the medallion. I think that's kind of a fun thing. And I also um, love this green um, uh, uh, leaf ribbon, and I use this in a lot of projects. Um, so let's get started. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is sort of look at our layers. And I think what I wanna do first is I'm going to attach the, um, the glass piece to the paper piece. So I go ahead and I put one right in the center. And then I'm gonna put my, this time I chose the bird. Make sure it's centered. And I'm really gonna push on it. You know, you wanna make sure that you really, it grabs hold. And as I said, um, this actually increases, the tack increases um, over time. That's cute just the way it is. Even without the ribbon, that would be a super cute card. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to be using um, the leaves and then two of the red, it's the two red ribbon and then the short green ribbon. So the first thing we're gonna do is wrap our card because we're gonna glue this down with the um, leaves on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half. Okay, and I want the leaves going in both directions. Right, you can sort of see. And again, it doesn't matter. I mean, however you end up with this, is, it's gonna be fabulous. So the first thing I wanna do is on one end, I'm gonna cut off two leaves. This is gonna give us something to wrap around the edge of this card. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff so we can really concentrate on what we're doing here. And what I want to do is I wanna move this um, so it's sort of centered so you can see, right? So that's coming off the edge. So this is the last leaf that I've got on here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my finger there, I'm gonna trim this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna cut off the two leaves on the end. Just like that. Okay. So then I have something that sort of looks like that. All right, so we're gonna use the super sticky dots because we know that it really holds the ribbon. And I'm kind of looking, I'm gonna end up with, so I'm putting my thumb here so I can sort of see where I'm doing this. And I'm gonna end up here with the ribbon. And roughly the same thing on the other side. So I just, So it looks something like this, basically. And I'm gonna put this one on first, so I'm gonna peel off this one, and then the opposite, this one. And what I'm gonna do is I work from the front. I put it, I sort of figure out where it's going on the front, and then I just wrap it around and it catches on. That looks great, see? Okay, 
Now I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the next one. And I'm gonna look at that. So this is my last leaf right here. So I'm gonna trim off a little of this and I'm gonna cut two leaves off. Just like that. And then I'm going to remove it because it just holds our cards together. And now I'm going in the other direction. And I'm laying this out here just like this. And I like the way that looks. I kind of want it coming over the edge though a little bit. There we go. That one looks good. And see how that kind of comes out over the edge. I kind of like the way that looks. And there you go. You've got your, sort of looks like laurels or something. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to attach this to the card. And remember, we're weighting the bottom and we're really weighting the bottom here because you've got your ribbon you've got to contend with. So I want it to be even side to side. And then I want about an inch on the top. And don't worry about what's going on in the bottom. So I go ahead and and I hit in between here. And I'm gonna do a little bit in the center here. Um, you don't have to add another super sticky dot because you've still got, this is pretty thin and pretty flat. Um, you could trim this down a little bit if you felt like it. Don't touch the adhesive though when you're doing this because it will lose its tag. Okay, and then I'm just going to, and it's an inch plus, I'm, it might even be an inch and an eighth or something like that, but yeah, it's about an inch on the top and then even side to side. Okay, and then you wanna burnish down. You're trying to get that sticky dot to take, to get in there. Really hold, because again, I want this to hold together. Okay, so here's our little medallion that's gonna go. And it, see, and that's cute even without the ribbon. But I like the medallions and I like the ribbons. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our little um, ribbon that's gonna hang down. And we're gonna grab, you're getting one and a half sheets of these in the kits. And I'm just gonna put this on the top here, just like this. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then the little green one just sort of goes down the center. And it could go in the back. Maybe I'll do that this time. Let's see, how will that look? Let's try that. I'm gonna put this on top and see. Now I like it in the front. Okay. As I said, you can sort of play with this and do different things with the cards. I mean, you don't have to do it the way I do it. Another piece here. And it's really fun to actually teach in person because I have to tell you, my students, and I've taught a lot over the years, hundreds and hundreds of students, and um, probably, no, actually thousands of students. And I must say, I've learned so much from my students, people doing things that I thought would never work. And they come up and they're like, look at this. And I'm like, oh my God, that's wonderful, okay. And now this is just going down the center, just like that. And you might have to adjust this a little bit. And I'm actually gonna attach it above the ribbon. You've got a lot of coverage here, so you can kind of play with that. 
And I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna trim this off and make sure, I just trimmed the end off. And now I'm using another fabulous sticky dot. And that's gonna go on the back here. Or should I say fantastic, as in craft fantastic? Okay. And then I'm just gonna center it and place it, just like that. And remember, I'm not cutting until um, the very end. Now here we're gonna add, we're gonna go two in the center, because this is a big piece. and I don't want it to crush. So I've got two in the center, and then just going around the edge. And as I said, these are so easy to use, but really save your scrap pieces of mat board and cardboard, and you can do all kinds of layering with that. Okay, all right. So here's the Darling Medallion, and I'm just gonna place it and center it. Try to get everything straight. I'm really pushing down on it, and that's one of the reasons you need so many of the uh, puffy dots. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim my ribbon. And again, I like to go long. Go long first, and then if you like it, um, you know, and it's too long, you can cut it shorter. Let's do this so, for a little difference here. There. I think that's cute. Yeah. That's card number four and possibly my favorite card. Well, no, the first one was my favorite. They're all my favorites. Okay. All right. And last but not least, we are going to do number five. Here we go. And on this one, we're using our, our another short piece of, of uh, twine. We are actually using, this is uh, the only tray, the only um, one in this kit that is, we use the tray. So now you're going to see how we put this tray together. You always, if you're working with a tray, you always uh, use a super sticky dot. Some people try to use the glaze and glue, not a good idea because the glaze and glue will interact with the, um, with the uh, um, metal. So I burnish that down. And I'm gonna peel this off and just pop this in here. So that's step number one. We've got our embellishment made. There we go, that's all ready to go with the fabulous forget-me-nots. This is a pretty easy card. It's, it's, there's not a lot to it in terms of um, um, structure, but it's, it's a pretty card, I like it. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, um, actually no, the first thing I'm gonna do is we will start with the structure. So the first card, the first piece that goes down is this one. Then the heart will go down, and then last but not least is the swallow. So let's get one of our card blanks and kind of figure out where we're going to place this. And this is, I'm looking at this, 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 and not that so much. Uh, the here and here matches. This is, there's a little more space here, about a quarter of an inch more, because I think my goal was to get this centered, because when I'm looking at this, to me, um, this is the centerpiece, and I want that piece centered. So that's the first piece that I'm going to get here. And another little trick 
is, well, you always try it out first, but lead with the corner, you know, lead at an angle and you're not committing. So I think I'm gonna go just about like that. So this kind of matches here. This is, there's a little more space here. Okay. So now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, the last piece of twine and this is a short one. And I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got my, this nice big loop on here. And now I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna push all of this through the eye of the, this is called a bale or the loop. And I'm gonna pull it through and I've got a loop in the front here like this, and I'm gonna open that up, and I'm gonna push all of this through, right? And you can attach this many different ways. I just happen to do it this way. There's a million ways, to, well, not a million probably, but quite a few. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it out because I want the four to go on either side. And again, we're gonna, glue first and then cut. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, and I'm visually, what I'm doing here is I'm visually centering this piece from side to side, not really paying attention so much to what's going on here. And there's a little bit of, uh, that'll just scrape off with an X-Acto. And what I want to do is, we're gonna use two dots. And I'm putting one way down at the tip because this is angled because you've got, um, you know, this knot up here that's causing some dimension here. And I'm just gonna going to Peel that off. And then I'm centering it right over the five, but I'm also centering it from side to side with the card. And I wanna get this right. I've got this, ah, come on. There we go. I think that looks good right there. And you can even take it and push on it from the back because that will help it attached to the card. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the two sides and what we're gonna do is, it's almost like it's hanging on someone's neck. And again, we're gonna use our super sticky dots and I wanna put one sort of up above because this is all gonna be covered with the, the, the second card, the swallow. And actually, I'm gonna put this one on first And I'm gonna peel that off. And I want this to be fairly flat so you can really see all of this twine here. And I'm just pushing, really pushing down on it right there. And now I want this to be about the same. So you're kind of looking at it and you're like, okay, I'm gonna put the sticky dot right there. Just like that. I'm gonna peel that guy off. And again, I'm sort of flattening it all out. And I'm gonna pull that up and I'm kind of looking at it from and I'm pulling it pretty tight. And I'm flattening all of that out, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my uh, bone folder and I'm really gonna burnish that down because this is what is gonna hold this down. And I'm doing the same thing over here. And then, boy, that twine gets fuzzy, but it's great stuff. I love using this twine. And you're just gonna trim it down. And it's fun to use it um, just from a design standpoint 
you know, if you double it up two or three times, the thickness is, is interesting, I think. And that's what we've done here is that it's, you've got, uh, rather than just, you could just use one thread of twine, but it, I don't think it would be as interesting. And now this just goes right here at a slight angle, just like that. And we're going to raise, now this is flat, so we're getting uh, puffy dots everywhere. So I'm gonna go with two in the center because this is a pretty good size thing. And I'm going with one, always one in the, you know, you always go with the corners. This, you don't need one here. But I am gonna put one here because again, it's all about the architecture. Okay, and then I'm just going to, and I don't want this to match here so much, so I'm gonna come down a little bit, and I want it, remember I talked about framing with the white, so I want, I probably want this corner and that corner to sort of be about the same, just like that. Okay, so that is card number um, five. And now I am going to show you how to make the little signature gem. So what I'm gonna do is grab a piece of scrap paper. This is sort of a small piece of scrap paper, but it will work. And I think I'm gonna do handmade here. Um, so I'm just going to take this like this and then so what you're going to do is you're going to squirt a blob just a small blob here because you don't want it to be too much and you're going to take it and push down on it right make sure it's centered properly and then you're going to take a q-tip and clean up around the edge. And I, if, it, if I'm doing this, um, I would let this dry in between. You can cut it when it's wet, completely wet, um, not in between though. But I would actually uh, just let it dry completely if you're working on this at home. You get better results that way. Okay, so I have my little handmade here. And I think what I want to do is I want to put it here. On this one, it's over here and it's the heart. But I think we are going to put it right here. And what you're going to do is, oops. And this is the one time on the tiny size glass, this is where you cut the super sticky dots. And I leave them on the sheet. So do you see how I kind of cut that? in a way that they'll they'll sort of stay on the sheet. It's just a way to keep track of them. And I just take my little piece here and put it on. And peel it off. And now it tells your friends and family or whoever gets this card or your customer um, that it is handmade. So we made five cards and super cute, all of them. I really actually love, 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 love all of them. And I always say, oh, this one's my favorite. Well, actually each one is my favorite when I'm making it, so. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have a fantastically creative day.